Okay, how y'all doing out there? This is Pete, Southwest Rod and Custom. Now where we left off, we went ahead and put our flames on, okay? Now that's basically the outline. Now what you see in my hand here, this is what you call a pinstripe brush. Let's bring that up closer so you can see that. There you go. If you notice, one side is a curved edge, and the other side's flat. So basically what you want to do, you want to use the curved edge as your... Now, this video is for beginners. If you're a professional pinstriper and you already know what's going on, okay, don't fucking worry about it. Uh, but this video is basically for beginners and uh, to show you, you know, just techniques of what it takes to stripe out a car. Okay, now we're not going to do a one stripe. We're going to go ahead. This is going to be a little bit of an artistic uh, job over here. And uh, the first thing we got to do is we got to go ahead and we're going to cut the cut the orange and the yellow off. So Start out, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get yourself uh, a piece of cardboard, cut a hole in it, okay, so you can make a, a pallet out of it, paint pallet. And what the hell is this? This is some fucking packing tape. Let's get that off of it. Now you can either go with the either side, you can go with the white side or the brown side, it doesn't matter. I got me a set. I also use art brushes. Now, if you look at those, those are all different sizes. Now look how little that one is. Okay, for a very, very fine tuning. Then we come up to the bigger one, and then a bigger one yet, and then of course, the big one. So we'll be using all those, okay? And uh, those are handy. Those cost about two or three dollars a piece, uh, up to seven dollars, okay? Two to seven dollars, we'll say. Just look how small the tip of this one is though, and you'll get an idea. I don't know if I can, there you go. Can you see that? I mean, there's really nothing there, okay? But I do use those, and uh, we're gonna be using them on our little Wild Willies uh, ride here. Okay, besides, now the paint that I'm gonna use today, it's a House of Color, okay, striping lettering paint. This is a urethane paint. Now you can, there's also another brand called One Shot, but since we're gonna clear coat over this, and I wanna get this done quick, because one shot takes a while to dry. I'm going to go ahead and use House of Color. Now that is a urethane base, so if you're going to clear coat over it, you don't have to use the special hardener for it. If you were not going to clear coat over it, there's a hardener that House of Color sells that's an additive to this paint. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, there's an additive to this paint that you can buy, and uh, it'll actually hard, it'll harden up. When it dries, it'll be a glossy dry instead of a dull dry. So, I split off, what I got here is I got a dirty cup, that's going to recognize that that's lacquer thinner to clean my brushes out with. I got the clean cup, which is a reducer, okay, urethane reducer, so I know which one's which. And then of course the WD-40 was for nothing, I don't know why that fucking thing's sitting there, but uh, it is. I got my weak black, that's going to, uh, what I did, I took some black and I basically it's got 1%, 2 or 3% black, and the rest is reducer. Now that's going to be very, very weak black. That's going to put in our drop shadows where we want them. Okay, and it looks like we're ready to roll. I got my cardboard sitting right here to mix my colors up, but if I'm going to be walking around, see, I can make take my palette, get my paint, and go. Or I'm going to be working right here. See, I got this here. Okay. And then I. So the first thing we're going to do to get going on this is we're going to go ahead get our lime green out and we're going to see what it looks like. And I think that's going to look very, very nice. Right now I'm just going to keep the cap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this in my reducer right here. Uh, I always cut, once you get, uh, if you look real close, it comes to a point once the brush is wet. And a good way to mark your, uh, your uh, pinstripe brush is put three notches on the top, see? So you'll always know where that uh, beveled edge is. 
Make sure that your paint is stirred, is stirred up very thoroughly. If you notice, all the thick stuff is on the bottom. So that's the first thing you want to do is stir your paint up thoroughly. See how thick that is now. What that's doing, that's getting all the solids at the bottom and mixing them up. And if you look close, the paint is actually changing colors to a brighter green. So it's very important that you always mix your paint up thoroughly. And I'm going to go ahead put some on my palette, see? If you notice what I just did there, take my stick. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to take my stick, just like I'm scooping it out, and I'm going to put it on my palette. Now, a lot of people out there, they'll be doing, they do stuff a little different than what I'm doing. And, you know, that's fine, okay? If you do it different, great, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take my pinstripe brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and just dip it in the reducer, and then kinda dab it on and mix it up, see, just like this. Now, you don't wanna use a lot of reducer, because if you get it too thin, then you're screwed. So I'll always do a little bit at a time. Okay, it looks like that's ready. So now, we're gonna go ahead and pinstripe the line that's gonna cut off the two colors. Okay, once you get your paint mixed up, you wanna go ahead and get your brush, just like I'm doing right here, okay? And get an ample supply of uh, paint on it, just like you see me doing right here, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and put a single line. You can see how I'm doing that. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there because we are actually going to pinstripe our flames and that will override. So start again right here. Nice straight line, take your time. Make sure it's the same thickness. And I see that I accidentally went a little too high because I'm actually... Voila. I'm gonna go ahead and get this little spot here because I don't like it even though the pinstripe is... Okay. And that's basically how you do it, see? So. Let me get the rest of this going, and then we'll come back, and we'll go to the next stage, okay, and see what we got to do next. I'm going to go ahead and pinstripe the green line on there, then I'll come back, and I'll show you what we're going to do next, that I just said again.